Here we are in part two of the tutorial for the poster. Um, we've got our basic layout done. We're going to go and work on the photo now and then pull that in and then we'll be all done. So we're going to work with the photo, like I said, but it's going to be in, in its own file. So we're going to do an open instead of place. So open the singer file. Okay, and we're going to open and work with channels a lot. So opening channels. This is our RGB file, so we do have red, green, and blue channels that make up the four, the three colors. <laughs> Count, one, two, three. <laughs> and let's go ahead and start here. So we're first going to duplicate the red and blue channels. So if I do a duplicate, a right click and duplicate red, red copy is fine. And we'll do the same thing with the blue. Click on blue, right click, and duplicate. Of course, you can always go to the flyout menu to do it as well. Blue copy. All right, modifying curves on the red copy first. We can go to curves, which is Command M, but let's go up here to Image Adjustments Curves, Command M. And we're going to add darker pixels to this. And if you follow the slides, it's all in there as well. So pulling this over a little bit, and now adding more darker pixels. This is going to be our red, OK? Hitting OK. And on the blue, we're actually going to make this lighter. So adding lighter pixels on this one. Done the curves, adjustments, curves on the blue copy. And this time, more lighter pixels. There we go. And hit OK. Next up is inverting the channels. Command I. Or let's go to, we can work on the red copy first and the blue copy, either way. All right, red copy and inverting. So image menu, adjustments, invert, or Command I on red and Command I on blue. They look like negatives at this point. Those two channels do. Now we're adding color to this layout. Turning on RGB. It does look a little kind of funny. OK, there we go. Let's do this. We're going to work on this channel first. So we're going to go back to the Layers menu. You're on the background layer, because we've only got one layer, and create a new adjustment layer. And this is going to be the lightest color of your color scheme, which happens to be orange. It doesn't have to be exact because we'll go ahead and modify this in the photo uh, that the poster file later on. So click and choose an orange. There's one color. Then we're going to go and go to the red channel. And we're going to select the information on this channel. So command clicking on the actual icon. So command click. We have the marching ants, and then we're going back to the layers panel to make a new adjustment, solid color fill. And this is going to be the second color in our file, and so it's going to be green. All right. And then we're going to go and work on the blue channel, and the same thing. Click on blue copy, command click to select the pixels on this file, going back to the layers, solid color, and this is going to be the purple. OK. We're going to modify how much color goes on each layer a little bit with a threshold. So to decrease the amount of purple, we're going to click on the mask icon, image menu, adjustments, threshold, and removing the slider to the right to eliminate the amount of purple in here. OK. We'll do the same thing with the green, but we're going to add more green. So clicking on the mask itself, back to threshold, and moving the slider the other way into 
more of the pixels and adding green. And again, however much you want to put in here. And hit OK. Now we're going to group these three files, layers I should say, selecting the first, shift click on the last, and making it into a, putting it into a folder, a new group, group one. This we're going to duplicate into our poster folder, but we're going to come back and do that in a little bit. We've got the photo ready. Now we're going to go back to the poster and prep this file. All right, what layer should we work on here? Let's go back to the rectangle file, or layer, I should say. We don't need the channels anymore. We're going to create a hole in the purple with our pen tool. So I'm going to click on the pen tool. We're going to be making a path, and we're going to be subtracting from the front shape again. So you don't want any straight lines. You don't just want a simple box, all right? You want nice fluid lines. The only straight lines will be on the sides and the top inside the purple area. So even over here, make this a, a little curve. So I'm going to click right here, kind of pull it up. I'm going to click and drag and kind of follow the curves created with the copy. So just clicking and dragging. And if you want to go modify, you can always click on your, your arrow tool. Go back in here and, and modify your lines a little bit more. Okay. Well, there we've got that. And because it went through already, look at our file. We've already got a hole in there. So that's perfect. Let's get the um, imagery from the photo, the folder, and pop it in here. So I'm going back to Singer. I'm going to duplicate this. Okay, there we go. Duplicate group. Or you can go to the flyout menu, of course. Duplicate group. And you're going to put it into your poster folder. So that's this one here right for me. Hit OK. And now I'll go back to it. And it looks kind of funny, but let's take a look at our layers. We need the photo below the hole. There we go. Now grabbing my move tool. How do I want to place this in here? We're going to do a um, control or command T or go to, and this you want to keep in proportion. So if you're modifying the size, make sure you're holding down the shift key to keep the proportions in good shape. Filling my hole top to bottom, double click, um, and now it's in play. What I want to make sure though is that my colors are identical. They're close, but I want them identical. Um, so I'm going to open up the group, double click on my color purple, click on the purple. Oh, oh, you know, before we do this, I can tell that orange is not all the same because the grunge is on. Now it looks a little different. Double click purple, click the purple inside the file, the poster. You can see it's changed a little bit. Double click the green to the green under the media. Oops, that's not right. There we go. And then double click the yellow orange and modify that. And now we've got it all the same. Last thing you're going to be doing is go ahead and put the grunge file back on. And there's your completed file.